the 3rd of May, 1791. A day like any other, except it wasn't a day like any other in Poland, because here, in the building behind me, the Royal Castle in Poland, the great same of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, did something incredible. It adopted a new constitution. The agitation of the constitution, the desire for the constitution, had begun with the election of the new king, Stanislaw Augustus, at the convocation same of 1764. How this became necessary, how it was passed, and what it meant for Poland, we'll be finding out in this program. I'm Nicholas Richardson, and this is Poland Daily History. We're here in the Royal Castle in Warsaw, where, in the room next door, the Senate chamber, the Constitution of the 3rd of May, 1791, was enacted. But we've come here to see what, in my opinion, is a great painting by Jan Mateko, one of Poland's great paintings. This, his painting, the 3rd of May, 1791 Constitution, painted a couple of years before his death in 1891 a hundred years after the events of the Constitution. It shows the immediate aftermath of the Constitution, the procession of deputies from the Senate chamber to the St. John's Collegiate Church, now Warsaw's St. John's University, for a te deum to give thanks for this marvelous event, this passing of the Constitution. Anna, I think this is a great painting. What do you think? Yes, it's not only beautiful, showing all sorts of historical details, but the scene is very well arranged and it's like, uh, living history that you can look at and you can have a very lengthy discussion. And I suppose one of the first things to say is the character waving the constitution is not in fact as many people suppose the king but is in fact the marshal of the same. Exactly, this is everybody's automatic reaction is that the person holding the most important document signed at the royal castle being about to be sworn at the uh, seat of the Polish Archbishop, of the Archbishop of Warsaw is the king but this is the head of the Polish Mar parliament Stanisław Małachowski. I, mean, I, 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 I love these historical paintings because of the the, the action and of course most artists who paint them they're based on real events but there's a certain amount of poetic license because in case you're wondering here is the king uh, and of course although the procession did take place the king had arrived at the church somewhat earlier so th this actual scene as we see it never really never really took place in quite this way but that doesn't matter because you're, you're bringing together all sorts of historic influence and could you, could you point out some other interesting characters Yes, you have uh, somebody who was the head of the revolutions against, uh, against the Russians, uh, known as the uh, insurrection of uh, 1794, Tadeusz Kościuszko, right behind the head of the Polish, uh, of the Polish parliament. Uh, you have Hugo Kowontai, uh, one of the persons who created the constitution, somebody who was looking towards an enlightened world, an enlightened Poland uh, ahead of him. Uh, you have the Duchess of Courland, who is also greeting the king standing under uh, at the entrance to the cathedral. Uh, the Courland was paying homage to, to Paul, so this is also to show that uh, the constitution was accepted I mean, I, and welcomed by everyone. I think Mateko did, was, didn't really like the king, did he? He wasn't really a big fan of the king, which is why he sort of pushed him in a corner. And of course, he, the king is sort of pointing at, at women there, which I suppose is a, a reference to this idea that the king had been or was. Uh, some sort of womanizer, and so he is sort of Mateko, probably just trying to make a slight dig at the king. Yeah, definitely, the king is not the head star of the painting. He's not the main. Uh, he's not the main character. It is the head of the Polish, of the Polish Senate, uh, of the Polish Parliament. Yeah, and it's probably worth pointing out that that Kosciuszko, though, is actually on his head has a, a bandage which represents a wound he got in a battle during the Kosciuszko um, uprising. Uh, four years after the events exactly. uh, portrayed in this picture. So again, it's a good example, I think, of how artists like to take a certain amount of liberties to create in their own minds, I think, the, the perfect picture, because I think, I think yeah, um, 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 uh, Mateko said that there was no, real no one single event, no, not one single action which he could really use to encapsulate the, 
the, the passing of the Constitution. So he created this picture and brought in all the characters and all the references he thought were, were, were of interest. But you have something very interesting to tell us about the, the actual view of the, of, the, of the royal castle. Yes, exactly. This is something that is not maybe visible at first sight, but then once it is discovered, you consider it almost as obvious and granted. And what you see in the front is a group of very happy people. Everybody's happy about the constitution. You have the burghers, the citizens of Warsaw who came to greet the king. Uh, you have representatives of the army, uh, of uh, the clergy, and everybody seems to be very much excited, but there's something very important going on in the background. Uh, please have a look at the royal castle and the sun is setting over it. It's not only because it is getting dark, it is a, let's say, late time of the day, but this is to indicate that this is the sunset for the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, that despite all the energy and happiness you see in the front, at the same time you have, uh, uh, you have the sun setting and this is the end of the Polish Kingdom. So a sort of sense of foreboding, which of course Mateka could paint because he was writing, uh, sorry, painting 100 years later. So he knew what was going to happen because at the time, nobody here would have had any clue and this would have been, as you say, a very happy day. Looking around on this picture, there are one or two characters, this chappy over here, uh, and the one behind him, they seem not desperately happy with what's going on. Of course, the constitution was definitely something positive, but not to everybody. Not everybody uh, was winning uh, the constitution. There were others who were losing, uh, who were losing powers. There were others who were influenced by the countries that surrounded us, namely the Prussians and the Russians. And uh, for them, the constitution was a failure to this extent that they considered it to be some sort of a coup uh, against the state of, uh, uh, of Poland. Well, the state of Poland, as I understand it, the state where I, as a nobleman, had great power and great influence and uh, didn't want to share it with anybody. But then, of course, there's some quite interesting um, references to people who were involved. This, this character here with his playing cards, of course, was a man who always lost at gambling until the Russians started using his gambling as a sort of way of giving him large amounts of bribes, which he allegedly won at cards. I mean, it is marvelous how artists bring in these, these, these contemporary yes, references. You can see that he's a fallen man right now. Yeah, absolutely. This, I think, is the great, the great thing about it. You can, each time you stare at these paintings, you, you learn so much more and you think, well, the artists are really very clever. Well, they the, bring the, in so much. The artist himself, Jan Mateko, was accused of the people who lived in his times that the paintings he's creating, they're not fully historical in the way that those people were not there at that time. The clothes they're wearing uh, came from different epochs, for example. So he was accused of different people uh, saying that he's not historically correct. But what he said is that I'm showing a certain situation, a certain point that is important for a country where we have just found ourselves. So don't treat this as just one, let's say, clip, yes. uh, as, a, as a photo shot. Exactly, it's not a photograph, uh -huh. it's an impression. It's, yes. saying it's a discussion about exactly. the current political exactly. situation. This is sort of giving you a, in, 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 in a sort of painting sense, the, the mm -hmm. description of where we got with the constitution, where Poland was. As you say, the, the fading sun on the royal castle where Poland was likely to be. And, and so, yes, you're right, you can't see it as a historical photograph. It's more a, a story in, in pictures, mm -hmm. That's how I would see it. Yes, that is true. Just like Henryk Sienkiewicz was writing his tril trilogy to uplift the heart of the Poles in the 19th century when we did not have a country uh, on our own. And whenever we wanted to feel better, more patriotic, we referred to our glorious past, just as that Mateko was the painter who was doing the same thing, only, let's say, painting with paints and not with words. I love these. And you, know, mm -hmm. you go to many parts of the world, you see these marvelous Painting. There's so much energy in the painting as well. I think that's, that's a great thing. And, and each little section of the painting is in itself a little story uh, about what's going on and the references. And it's, uh, just, you can look at them for hours and, uh, yes, and, and, and find nice out so much. And, yeah. and, and each time you see a painting, a great painting like this, you, you notice something different. I think that's a great, a great value. But I think of, for the events we've, we've, we've seen today, and the, the, how we got to the Constitution, the passing of the Constitution, the great achievement that the Constitution was, and the, the great feeling of happiness and success that is captured in this one painting. The Poles had produced this marvelous, this marvelous Constitution and, and this marvelous happy event to, to set the country on, uh, towards the sunlit uplands, or they, as they then hoped at least. Yeah.